And look, his little foot. YouTube viewers, I need to calm down because oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. You have no idea. So, as you can see right here in my hand, I am holding something very special that I told you guys months ago when I redid this pond, and our turtles had laid some eggs. So, our turtles ended up laying about seven eggs. Out of seven eggs, only one of those eggs turned out to be fertile. So, there was this spot right here, as you can see, where I dug out. So, over the time that the eggs have been in here, I've been candle lighting them to see who is fertile and who's been growing and how they're doing. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't tell you this, like, on how excited, like, I am of this. But as you can see right here, so I decided to dig them up because I, I've been doing it about, like, every other week where I check them. I dug this little, the little turtle egg up to go candlelight to see how he's doing. And as I was coming back, okay, hold on, I need to calm down. I can't get the camera to focus. Okay. So as I was coming back to put him back in the ground and bury him, you can see right there on the top of his shell, and I have a little piece of his shell on my finger there, he started to hatch in my hand. Oh my goodness, he started to hatch in my hand. And I have to get ready to go get the kids from school, so I am going to go grab a little Tupperware. Look, and I could see he, he like poked his head out of that hole. He poked his head out of that hole right there and oh my gosh guys, this is our first homegrown <laughs> baby musk turtle or mud turtle. Oh, I want to see if he pokes his head out again. Oh my gosh, it was so precious. I'm sorry. I'm super excited. When it comes to babies, I'm all for it. But oh my gosh. Yeah, he poked his head out of there. So I'm going to get a tote. I'm going to gather up some of this dirt and stuff here that's in the enclosure and I'm going to bring him inside so he can finish hatching inside the house in the safety i was so worried about him hatching here i'm gonna hold on to it so don't fall down i was so worried about him hatching out here in the enclosure even though it's small and there isn't much for where he can go i was worried about losing him in here or if some animal were to come in here and possibly get him <gasps> i can feel him moving in the shell i say him i don't know why i keep calling it him i don't know what you are yet but I can feel, oh, he moved. I can feel him moving in the shell. Oh man, and I gotta go get the kids. Maybe he'll be hatched out. I don't know how long it takes him to hatch out of the shell. I'll look that up real quick and stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the tote and I'm gonna fill it to the dirt and I'll be right back, guys. But until then, I'm gonna put him right here so I don't lose him. Look, there's one of the, see this is a mud turtle slash, slash musk turtle. They go by both names. But this is the full grown. This one is a female. She doesn't have the dent in and she's got the short tail. But this is what is inside that egg right there. That is what's in that egg. So I'm going to put her back down there and let her do what she was doing. But I'm going to run real quick and go grab um, go grab the tote and start filling, filling it with the sand. And oh my gosh. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So I have a little Tupperware. I don't need a huge one because as you can see the size of that egg, it's smaller than a quail egg. I'm going to try to make sure I don't get rocks in here. I don't need that big of a Tupperware. And once he's all done and hatched, I can move him to something a little better. I have a heat lamp inside and stuff already from our lizards. But this is just going to be good enough for him for right now. I really honestly I have no idea how much dirt I should put in here. I don't want to do too much because then I don't want him to be squished. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. So I'm gonna kind of flatten it out and I'll make a no. I'm gonna do more sand. More, more sand. More. 
I'm sorry guys, I'm super, I'm excited. I'm gonna make kind of like a little nest. You know, like a little dinosaur nest. Okay, so I'm gonna pick him up and I'm gonna put him right, right in there. Like that, and kinda, kinda, there you go. I don't wanna bury him since he's starting to hatch. And then I'm not going to close the lid on this all the way. I'm just going to close it around partially so that way air still gets in there. See, so kind of like just had the corner down. Okay. Okay, I think we'll be good just like that. And I'm going to go set him inside the house. And I'll get back to you guys later. And hopefully he would be completely out of the egg. Like, oh my gosh. I have no idea what these things look like babies fresh out of the egg oh my gosh it's gonna be so adorable and when he does hatch or she he or she I, it'll probably be a couple months before I can figure out if it's a boy or a girl but when it does hatch all the way I would like you guys to comment below and help us give this little guy a name or girl make it a unisex name where it can go either way but comment down below and give us a name for this little lovely turtle <laughs> So stay tuned, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello viewers, so I just got back from getting my kids from school and look, his little foot. Oh my gosh, his little foot is sticking out of the hole. I'm trying to use my phone as light for it too so we can see it. But look, his little foot's coming out of the hole. Oh my gosh. So excited! I'm sorry guys, I'm really excited. It's a new baby! To the family! Hello viewers! So here is an hour later update. As you can see, he's broken through a little bit more. The little guy is going! I'm probably scaring the living crap out of him with this light. I'm so sorry, buddy! Look! How tiny he is. He's so small. Like, look at my finger. Sorry, I just got done mowing, so I'm pretty dirty. <laughs> but look at him. Or her. It's coming out. Oh my gosh. You can see his little, oops, his little tiny egg tooth. Here, focus, please. I'm so close, it's not focusing all well. But right there on the tip of his mouth, where it's like a lighter grayish color, that's his little egg tooth. That's what he's been using to help him get through the shell. Aww. Now I have a 10 gallon aquarium that I'm going to set up for him. But for tonight, I just want him to do what it is that he or she needs to do to get out of this egg here in this little Tupperware that I have. And then we'll set up his tank tomorrow for him. Oh my gosh, guys, so precious. Oh, I can't wait till he comes fully out, or she. Take a guess down below. Do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? So cute. So what is up, viewers? It's about 9 o'clock at night right now. And I'm just doing a little update before I go to bed here on the new little guy to the addition of the Amatson Outdoors family. As you can see, he's now got his head poking out of his shell. I'm sorry, I'm trying to stay still. It's not working. There he is. He's sleeping. Look, he's got his little itty bitty eyes all closed. Look at his tiny little freaking nostrils. Oh, he's moving. Okay guys, so I'll do an update in the morning. See if he has come out any more than what he is right now. Oh, so precious. I can't wait. Now, he is, like I said, he's super tiny. He's like the size of a marble. <laughs> Maybe a marble might be bigger than him. No, a small marble. Your normal marble that you would get out of the machine. Oh look, he's moving again. Yeah, he is super small, so when he fully gets out of there and stuff and looks well to be handled by hand, you'll get to see how small he is then. 
Oh, super precious. Okay guys, I'll see you in the morning.